Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Space RPG 3. Um, due to me getting a new phone and this game not having a cloud save feature, which would actually be a pretty handy thing to have, I'm going to have to restart the game and make a new game. Now this continue game here is just a new game that I started a couple minutes ago in a previous recording, which something happened to for some unknown reason. But um yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Yes. It is the dawn of the 23rd century. Many history books speak of the golden age of expansion as the Allied Earth Republic, AER, spent years reaching to the stars. Many worlds were colonized and the books tell a wonderful story of enlightened achievement and humanity coming together. Sadly, the words do not resonate with you. You have not known these times. Stagnation, poverty, and piracy were already growing insidiously among the outer systems of the Republic. And when the belligerent aliens were discovered, it only became worse. The AER is now at war with the Union, a race with seemingly no interest for peace. Three worlds have been completely lost in the war with the Union so far. The AER forced to retreat. Growing fear, uncertainty, and outer colony dissatisfaction prompts increased rebel and pirate actions. The golden age is over, and a time of chaos has descended upon the AER. Through hard work, some skill, and more than a little luck, you have scraped together enough cash to buy a second-hand crate, the only starship you could afford. In these rough times, you are setting out to make a living in the stars. There are still lucrative deals, trade routes, and adventures awaiting out there for anyone who dares. It is a dangerous yet exciting time to own a starship. Good luck, Captain. Now, if you want to read this, just go ahead and pause it, because I've already read this before, so I'm kind of just going to be skipping through it. Good luck. Now, you can see our crate here in the middle of the screen spinning around. Let's see if we have any missions here. Ten tons of killer bees, Timea, in the Agena system. For 4,000 credits, let's go! So now that we've got our mission, we've just got to fly to the outermost edge, and then FTL. Yeah, you really don't need to worry about those routine scans unless you're on a mission where you're smuggling something. It's not like they're going to chase you or anything anyway. There we go. Need more missions. Ooh, 20 tons of shoes. Uh, see, I would do the 20 tons of shoes thing is that my crate only has about 10 tons of storage maximum capacity oh there's a union frigate yeah i'm not even gonna bother trying to attack that thing with this itty bitty thing my turret doesn't even stand or like pivot at all it's just a straight forward firing turret So here's this, and land, there we go, 10 tons of wood. Actually, if I go back to Earth now that I've completed two, yeah, about two FTL stops in different systems on different planets, there should be the start of the main storyline. Likely the AER in a conflict with the Union. Well, one of their friends, rather. 
Yep, once again, just go ahead and pause to read if you want it to. Well, if you want to read it anyways. Yep. That right there is the first mission in the storyline. Yes, it is down there. See, I kind of remember where most of these are just from playing the game before. So, you know, just kind of comes naturally to me, you know? Sometimes these FTL trips take up quite a bit of time. I think starting next video, I might just edit out the really long and uninteresting ones. You know? But sometimes there are these things, these uh, pirate cruisers, I think they're called indirection cruisers. Basically, you cannot FTL until they are destroyed. Which is a pretty cool mechanic, but it does kind of get annoying and kind of scary if you're, well, you know, just a little old crate like this. And you don't really have much weapons. I wonder if I land back here. Nope. Alright then. So yeah, I've encountered them mainly in these gray areas. But there is one area that's like right over here. Somewhere. The bounty system. Where basically it will just... Um, yeah, lots of pirates would be over there. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh, there's some dread cruisers, a raider, corvette, I think it's called, and a scout. This is not an indirection cruiser. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen an indirection cruiser in the same system that has a planet. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, I just say. Hmm. So, just look for another mission somewhere. Alright. See, I'm going to go do some missions now, and I will come back to you when something interesting happens. If it doesn't happen here, it's Saren. 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 Ooh, that, I think that's one of the Agena Corp ships. Oh. Now if I land here again, there we go.